This is the uh, UIT Automotive Center of Excellence's uh, climate wind tunnel. So we're able to recreate any condition that's required. Snow, sleet, rain, hot, cold, humid, uh, dry air. So what we're doing today is we've created an extreme weather condition that's very common in southern Ontario in the middle of the winter, blizzard. And what we're going to do is look at some of the physiological responses in terms of core temperature, skin temperature, heart rate, and how the muscles are, are working while firefighters perform an auto extrication. We're able to look at muscle activity with wireless sensors and by doing that we can determine how hard are the muscles actually working and then look at over the course of time can that turn into some sort of chronic injury. Well, we're always interested in research because it always affects how, we, how effective we are on the fire ground, our own safety and the safety of the public that we're protecting. So anything that progresses, any new ways of doing things, new equipment, new procedures, just makes us more effective on the fire ground. First, we wanted to see what the responses is of our firefighters and how well they respond. We wanted to see not only their thinking patterns on, on the cognitive responses, but the ability to use what their, their training has uh, given them to use in these situations. Well, it certainly exposes people to uh, climate that the, they should be familiar with. And it gives you an idea of what your, your personal protective equipment does for you. Um, its limitations, for example, visibility. I've been to accidents where I've, I've done auto extrication on the 401 in a blizzard before. So it's very similar to that. If you can experience that before and where it's safe, it's better than experience it somewhere where you're by yourself or with one other partner inside a building. So if you can experience that, recognize your problem, you can get in way safer.